Hello, Namaskar, Vanakam. I hope all of you are doing well. Your physics examination has ended. I'm talking about the ICSC class 10 students. And now you have a week long gap before your next examination, which for science students of ICSC class 10 is the chemistry examination on the 11th of March. Now, many of you obviously will be feeling very happy, but I must warn you, please don't feel too happy because this is essentially a trap. Yes. A trap and I'll explain why I'm using this strong word every year if you see the timetable of the past many years I think without exception the first four to five to six papers are held together you know with just a day or two days or sometimes three days gap between each examination and then there is a longer gap and then the last set of four to five examinations papers are held together what has essentially happens is that it is during this longer gap when the intensity levels drop and that's why I say this is a trap. In the first five examinations in the run up to the board examinations because board examinations the first four or five papers since they are held together closer together there is anxiety there is fear there is excitement there is apprehension. There is energy, there is momentum. And then when the gap happens, the intensity levels drop. And that's where students' performance goes for a toss. And I'm saying this from experience of many students. See, the board examinations extend for almost a month. Yours started for ICSC class 10 started on the 21st of February. They will go on uh, till the 18th of March for those who don't have Hindi as a second language. Otherwise, for those who have Hindi as a second language, it will go on till about the 20th. And I think there are a couple of other kind of optional subject papers after that. When the gap is less, just one day, two days or max three days, it's easy to keep the intensity going because you know there is a deadline to meet. You have to revise the entire syllabus, test yourself with quality test papers before the exam, the next examination. When there is a week long gap, you think, Abhi to time hai, abhi kya jaldi hai, we can afford to rest a bit. Now, the most obvious thought since it is that of let me relax because I have a week's gap to prepare for chemistry. I would say that while resting your body and mind is absolutely fine, resting your intensity is definitely not a good thing to do at this point in time. See, uh, there will be many of you who will think that, you know, week long gap is there. I will prepare chemistry in the last two days or the last three days. Okay, 11th exam hai, so 8, 9, 10, I will devote to chemistry. Then these days, 5, 6, 7, I can be a little relaxed, maybe study a bit of mathematics, maybe study a bit of the optional subject, maybe study a bit of biology, etc. Right? I would say this is the wrong strategy. What you need to tell yourself, and this is about cheating your mind. What you need to tell your mind is that my chemistry examination is not on the 11th. It's not on the 11th of March. It is on the 7th of March. That's what you need to tell your mind. And therefore, look at 5th of March and 6th of March as the two days, the only two days you get in order to prepare for chemistry. Prepare your deadlines in such a way that I need to finish this chapter, organic chemistry, in three hours or four hours. I need to study the study of compounds, finish the study of compounds, uh, the entire nitric acid, ammonia, sulfuric acid, everything. Let's say five hours. I need to finish everything in this much time. Think of your chemistry exam schedule on the 7th of March and target your revision schedule accordingly. You need to cheat your mind. Okay. Then, if you devote your 5th and 6th entirely to chemistry, so that there is no last minute tension, 11th ke liye tayari hai aapki. On the 7th of March, devote one day to whichever is your optional subject. It could be physical education, it could be commercial applications, it could be computer applications, it could be economic applications, cookery, whatever. Devote one day on the 7th of March to preparing for your optional subject because you have only a day's gap for that. So, if you have not prepared adequately beforehand, you could use one day here. 8th of March, devote entirely to mathematics. Mathematics, again, you have just one day gap, which may not suffice. So please devote one entire day on the 8th 
to mathematics. Ninth, depending on how much time you have devoted to mathematics, depending on how your preparation is in mathematics, you can devote a second day on the 9th of March to mathematics. Or if you think my maths is completely ready, you can devote it to biology also, which is I think on the 18th of March, right? On the 10th, from early morning, return to chemistry so that the entire Sunday you can devote to revising chemistry. So chemistry essentially you're getting three days, 5th and 6th and then the 10th of March. This is the schedule I would advise you to follow so that you are not saying that chemistry last man by chance. If your next three days you end up wasting your days, not uh, using it to the maximum potential, then you will be in a state of panic because you would have neither studied chemistry nor you would have done any of the subject papers which are after chemistry, the optional subject, mathematics, biology, or if you have Hindi as well. So do not let laziness take over. Fix your targets and work according to that plan. And I say this also because of my experience in covering sports. Because when you cover sports, if you see, let's say, badminton, a sport which I've covered extensively, if you see two, I mean, number four players playing a doubles game or two singles players, you would see, even though they know that this is a practice game, the mindset that they go into the court with is that I need to win every single point, almost as if this is the world championship final, almost as if this is the Olympic Games final. I need to fight for every single point. They know it, that it is a practice game, but they cheat their mind to think this is the finals and my place on that podium, the top podium, the gold medal depends on this particular match. So I need to win every point. That's a mindset you need to have. I need to win every single mark, irrespective of how your first set of papers went, irrespective of whether you did well, irrespective of whether you did not do very well in all the papers. It does not depend on that. You can still, this is like the lunch interval between two innings. During the lunch interval, you can recalibrate your strategy and say, okay, I did four out of the five papers very well. One paper did not go very well. I will try to balance it with the with a better performance in the next set of four to five papers. That's what you need to do. You know, the hunger should be there. Like Rohit Sharma said recently, we need players with hunger. You need to have the hunger in order to excel. And for ex achieving excellence, a sound and sensible strategy is always very important. You cannot... I always believe this. You cannot go into the battlefield unprepared. You always need to be fully prepared for any kind of contingency. I mean, my students of the app courses would know. I always talk of a plan A, plan B, plan C. Very important in life. You always need to have a backup plan in case the first plan does not quite succeed. So if your goal is the big ticket score in the 90s, Right? Anything above 88% according to me is very good. In the 90s, always sounds better. Right? You need to do this cheating your mind. Tell your, chemist, tell your mind chemistry exam, 7th of March. Tell your mind optional subject examination on the 8th of March. Tell your mind the maths examination on the 10th of March. Right? Cheat your mind, prepare yourself, put yourself under that artificial pressure. It will work to your advantage. It's like, you know, uh, lifting weights in the gym, you know, you need to test your endurance level. Ki kitna dam hai whether I can do this or not. Okay, this week will tell you whether you have it on you, whether you are the ah, laid back type. Just think of it like this another few days and it will all be over and then you can take some time off, right? And uh, trust me, the pressure will help you excel and nothing else. So, all the best to you. Thank you very much. I hope this particular strategy come motivation video helped in some way i will bring to you a detailed chemistry strategy video that will be tomorrow till then happy studying enjoy studying enjoy the journey tata